Alright, so I've seen a lot of questions regarding optimal binds and like the best binds to use um, lately, and I haven't really seen any good videos about keybinds in Fortnite in a while, so I thought I should make this video to explain op optimal binds, explain the, um, the advantages of them, and giving you the best binds to use. First, I'm going to explain what optimal binds are. So I've seen a lot of people like kind of misinterpret optimal binds and um over specify it so obviously um being able to move side to side while building is huge and that's a huge part of optimal bind specifically however that's not the only part about it so there are also um there's also one really big goal for optimal binds and this other big goal is to have your important binds all on separate fingers and what i mean by this is that like for an example, my wall is on my mouse, it's on, my, it's on one of my mouse buttons, and my edit is on my index finger, which is on my keyboard. And because of this, since they're on different fingers, I can go from placing a wall and then editing almost like immediately, you know what I mean? So, like that. Whereas if I had my wall on another uh, keyboard key that was on my index finger, I would have to move my finger on to the edit i would have to go from let's say f f was my wall so if i had i would have to hit f then move my index finger up to e to edit which would have a noticeable delay so that's another big another big thing about optimal binds so i have created this google doc to help you visualize um the different fingers and all of the respective keys so I have all of the fingers that you use for gaming. So I have all five fingers of your left hand and then your two main fingers for your right hand because I'm leaving out your I'm leaving out your pointer and your middle finger because you know those are already taken up by your fire and select and then your aim in and reset. Um, but I will talk about reset later. Anyway, here are two photos of how I play and by these pictures you can see the scope of my fingers basically so my index can hit e r f and g um my thumb can hit space c v and then x but x is kind of a crunch uh, my ring finger can hit a back there uh, caps lock q tab and one and then my pinky even though hard to see can hit shift and control this is another picture, and as you can see, my thumbs moved. I took this to simulate how it looks whenever I'm placing a floor or selecting my floor, at least. So as you can see, my thumb is a lot further up. The knuckle is able is able to hit the space bar if needed. However, the tip of my thumb is directed onto V. And then this goes the same for C whenever I'm crouching. But like I was saying, this chart is important in the sense that it helps you visualize which fingers are being used for what. And... I updated the chart a little bit just to help you visualize um, the important binds that are on each finger. So as you can see um, in this pattern, I have only one super important bind on each finger. So for my index finger, it is E for edit. For my ring finger it is Q for shotgun. For my thumb, it is V for floor. And for my pinky, it is shift for cone. Now there are also other like very important binds. Like obviously you need to reload need to pull out your AR, which is on my index finger, but these are the ones that are most contributed with like build fighting, if that makes sense. I'm not saying build fighting is to focus, but I hope that makes sense in the way that, you know, you always need, you're always going to be like rapidly pulling out your shotgun and building, you know what I mean? So those things are both correlated, therefore you want them on separate binds. So that's, that's basically what I am saying. And then down for your, for your right hand, your mouse hand, um, I have two important binds on my thumb, and that's because you are you are very easily able to switch between your bottom mouse button and your top mouse button for selecting wall and ramp. It's super easy; it doesn't matter. And then for my middle fingers, just scroll wheel down for scroll wheel reset, and then scroll wheel up for pickaxe. But that's just whatever. So I hope that makes sense. Let's actually get to the binds. So for your movement keys, I just recommend you do WASD. There's some people who are like, do ESDF, do Q, W, E, whatever. No, I, if you're just trying to learn keyboard to be normal, just do WASD. Uh, for sprinting, it's preference, but I use caps lock because I tried B before and that was not comfortable. So I hit caps lock by index with my ring finger, sorry. And 
yeah, it works completely fine for me. Crouch. I do not recommend that you do crouch with your with C. I do not recommend that at all. I hit that with my thumb, but it's just very awkward. My crouch does not feel like the best, but I'm just too used to it now. I actually pref I actually recommend that you hit that with control instead, your left control. And that's because it's on your pinky, so it doesn't hinder any movement and it just it gets it out of the way of all of your other fingers. So, yeah. Fire target should always be uh, standard, whatever. And your reload, um, it's completely preference. Um, some people like it on R. I put it on 1 because 1 isn't too hard to hit. Like, I have to move my whole hand to hit 1, but it doesn't really matter because it's just reload, not too important. Like, it's definitely a needed thing, but it's not too, too important. For my interact control because like i said with my crouch thing it's whatever for pickaxe i use scroll wheel up i do not recommend this either i actually recommend that you do scroll wheel interact and that's so you can like pick up items really fast whenever you're laying on a chest all spawn and someone else is also contesting the chest weapon slots is the fun stuff um your first slots are ar i use r because i just prefer to have my ar on my index finger um, some people do three, some people do number keys. You can do number keys, it's up to you. But this is just best for me. For Q, for, sorry, for shotgun, I use Q, and that's because it's just super close. It's super close. It's on my, it's on my ring finger, and it's just super close. It's easy to hit, especially after editing. I can edit with my index finger, and then just hit Q with my ring finger to immediately pull out my shotgun. Super easy. And then, the rest of these don't really matter. <clears throat> crouch wall building should be the same your wall okay so your wall and your stairs i highly recommend to have them on your mouse buttons um like this is just a new meta now having them on your mouse buttons it's it just makes it makes life so much easier uh for an example i'll show you with your wall so having your wall on your on your mouse button right this makes it super easy to do square row reset so i was selected my build I selected my build, um, held down my build, and reset all at the same time, all on one hand. So, that's why I like it. Alright, let's get back to this, the binds. So, back to where we were. Down here. Okay. So, for your floor, I put it on V, because I hit V with my thumb, and it doesn't hinder any movement. For... Um, cone, I put it on shift because shift is on my pinky, doesn't hinder any movement. For trap, doesn't really matter to me that much because traps aren't in the game, but I have it on X. Place building, some people are like, put it on right click, I don't really care, it's up to you, but, um, I'm more of, I just do left click, it's traditional, and it gets the job done. Um, rotate building, you want this on something that's like, you're able to hit, because it's, it's a huge deal for actual competitive but i have it on f and it's a little bit annoying because it's a little too close to my fingers so sometimes i accidentally hit it because i have a, i have a sensitive keyboard i have an apex pro but um change building material you also want to be able to hit that but it's not super important you can have it a little far away edit okay 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 so i edit with e right and the reason for this is because if you remember from earlier this picture my keyboard is tilt is slanted a little bit. So because it's tilted like this, it's actually easier for me to just move my index finger up to hit E rather than pull it like put it to the side to hit F. So that's why I edit with E. So if you plan on tilting your keyboard to make it easier for you to hit um, your bottom row with your thumb, then I highly suggest that you edit with E. But you don't have to. You don't have to. You can always, you can also use F. But um, you do, I really do recommend that you edit with your index finger. Like, that's a must. Your index finger is usually your strongest. Okay, so your second edit bind, that's scroll wheel down. That's so you can use scroll wheel reset. Um, for selecting, left click. Some people like use right click, whatever. Do what you want. But left click is the tra traditional way to do it. For resetting, um... I use right click and scroll wheel down. And the reason for this is because sure I use scroll wheel down like I use scroll wheel for like 90% of the time, but um, sorry, I'm messing up my edits. But you want to be able to cone flip. 
and you can't cone flip like that with, without using right click. Like you cannot do that with scroll reset. See what I mean? So that's why I use right click as my primary as my primary reset bind. All right, so the rest is kind of up to you. It doesn't really matter that much, but those were just the core binds in me explaining it. Um, I really hope this helped. Uh, I haven't done a video like this in over a year, um, probably almost like 18 months now. I haven't made a video like this, so I hope it helped. I didn't really like edit it or whatever. I don't, I'm not really good at that, and I'm also not the best at speaking over recording, so I hope I didn't stutter too much, and I hope this video was just... I hope it was helpful. So, all right. See ya.